Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday Night Nightcap. In both of tonight's nightcaps, I do a little bit of work for myself. I'm putting my mechanical lubricator onto my marine steam engine. Uh, that's some sort of fabrication, some repair work, because I mean, when I do mistakes and repair it, and I'm actually doing some uh, tapping three millimeter holes. I'm not really comfortable. Anything below a quarter inch, I really don't like it. But anyway, I do manage to get it done. I put a video up uh, on Wednesday, it was called a Wednesday night catch up. I'm going to try and do one a week, just a short video with a specific subject. Uh, this week's was picking up a thread and a lathe. I've had loads of suggestions, silver soldering, tempering, drill sharpening, uh, lining up tools in a lathe, how to use a four jaw chuck. Uh, so I'm going to try and do probably one each week, a little bit of that subject, and also a show maybe something that I've done through the week. Uh, nothing fantastic, like go for a walk with a wife or have a drive. I've had lots of viewers, especially American viewers. John, will you just put the camera on the car and drive around where you live and let's see some of the countryside because there really is some stunning countryside up here. So I think I might well do a little bit of that. A few weeks ago, I did some video on this marine steam engine discussing this little mechanical lubricator pump or oil pump. I've decided really the only place to fit it is on there. That surface there, I've started to file it flat because this being a casting, it's all tape added, nothing is actually flat. I don't want to strip the engine just to machine that flat because a file finish would be perfectly adequate to mount that on. I'll probably make a nice plate to support it on there. It works by that little lever arm there, turning that wheel. I did show the inside how it does work. This part here is what they call a centric, what just operates the valve. You can see that moves, it does move up and down. So if I make a little suitable linkage to come off here somewhere across and down onto there, we'll be able to make it to it wanks that pump around and around like that. I've got enough room to get the oil feed pipe in there. I'll take these oil pipes off so I've got better access, file this a little bit more, see how flat we can get it, and then make a decent a decent plate to bolt onto there, which that will be bolted on with countersung bolts and that will be fastened on the top of it. I want to try and get this done for next weekend um, because next weekend is uh, one of our local, well, fairly local steam rallies at Flukeborough and I really would like to go there. It would probably be alright with just two screws still into there but it wouldn't look very good and I want to try and make it look sort of like somebody cares. The mechanical oil pump will do away with this, that's what's called a displacement lubricator. I've already disconnected all the pipe work so we can move it out of the way. So all this will be discarded and I'll probably have a nice bit of bent copper with probably that same steam valve on. So I've got to take the metal off there quite nicely. And with practice you can file nice and square and true and level. The file only cuts on the forward stroke, so um, you don't just do that, you, you, you sort of release the pressure, the downward pressure when you come back. It's soft aluminium so it is filing quite easily. So if we put a, a straight edge on there, that's quite nice. It's lost it. It's not piss wobbly anymore. It's not rocking. It's going to be nice and solid. Quite happy with that. Wrapping emery tape around the file is often a good way of getting a, a better result or a finer result. You take the file marks out. Not that you can see them anyway, but. I'm actually left handed when I'm failing this right handed because of where the camera is. And because I'm failing it right handed, which is arse first to me, it means I can, I've got to take my time. And it appears to be making quite a nice job. Very happy. Very happy indeed. Right, we'll see what bits of material we can find to make a, a mountain. It'll be brass or aluminium. 
Uh, no need for steel. Don't want to make things more difficult than they need to be. I've got a nice length of two by quarter flat bar brass. I wouldn't like to buy this. Um, I got it given. I just wouldn't like to buy it. It'd have been an absolute fortune. So we'll cut a piece off just so we've got the sand's not square, square up. We'll cut a piece off so we've got something to work with. And then have a look and see how we're going to line things up. I've moved the camera to the other side so I can work with my favourite hand, which is my left hand. Okay, so that needs to go onto the edge of there. And we'll need to be aware of how far that it simply comes across, which is approximately there. And if we spray the line across there, And it needs to go in. We'll put the pump on. And the pump basically as far in there as I can get it. I put the pipes back on just so I can see how much room I've actually got. And I basically want that mountain on there like that. So it's nice and nice and flat and rigid now. That goes like that, and then the pump will go. Right, that's really close in, as tight as I can get it. There's plenty of clearance for the assembly, so I will be when I take a little bit more off it. So I'm going to cut that tape out across there, then I'll put it on the milling machine and square all these edges up. I'm going to start to look, start to look the shape now. I'm actually cutting this using a slitting disc and an angle grinder. It'll probably get frowned upon by some, but it is quick and it can be very accurate if done correctly. That's looking not too bad. Yeah. So I'll be able to get three mountain bolts into there, counter sunk. And it's going to look quite nice, I think. I may just fail these services instead of using the the machine I'm not quite sure. I need to get that in there square first because it's a little bit piss wobbly. Not much but it's not it's not it's not great. I'm gonna square it up in the milling machine. Uh, back the door like that if that end was square or I could use an angle on there to set it up square. The easiest way is to use just what you've got at hand. Just do it like that. All I want is this end here thrown up. That should hold that up against that jaw there quite nicely. Rotating that way so we're going to be cutting in the direction like that. This is a carbide milling cutter. Uh, it's a used one. The end's broken off there but it won't affect it using the, the flutes on the side. So anybody that has me cutters like that which the, the end's chipped off it doesn't make a difference for the sort of thing I'm going to use it for. enough have to square it up. Just about there. I 
I can also easily do that, that face there mate as well when I'm on. I could draw this and make it of a drone, but honestly it's just as easy to make it. It's a one-off. Um, I do a lot of my work like that. So now we've got a true face on the bottom, that their faces are parallel, so I can mount it that way. And just square that top face up. That's how the end of this middle cut actually fares doing that. It might be alright. I've just got one chip on the corner, one tooth. Running slowly, I should be all right. It's obviously no good for a, a CNC application. What I will do before I start, because that's going to flex and spring. In rigidity, really is one of the secrets, especially on a, a lightweight machine like this. We'll put that on the fixed jaw and tighten that up onto there we'll even put two parallels in to make it even more even more rigid face is at angle and the file will quickly sort that out. That file is blocked up. Save the file. Massive difference. You need it for filing brass. You need a new file. It's very, very slippery stuff. I always say I'm going to keep a file for brass, but they always get used for something else. sharp edges there right so that goes on there like that and then the oil pump goes on there like that straight away I can see I made a mistake I've cut the bastard thing level with that face there and it should have been cut the length of the oil box so it's quarter an inch too short I make mistakes those that don't make mistakes make nothing. So all I'm going to do is I'll extend that piece of the brass will cut off. I show it a silver solder onto the end of there, and then remake it. I could just make another one. I could have said nothing and made another one, but that's not what it's about. Uh, mistakes are made. That's just carelessness on maybe half. 
but we'll, 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 we'll sort it out. For a change I've actually got a tiny bench. I've been doing some work on the plasma table and it's starting to look the way I want it to look in here now. I've got a bit of brass on a fire brick. I put a little chamfer on. Put the soil that will run through there. No problem at all, or it should do. Ever since I stopped smoking, I've always had problems with ignition on torches and various bits and pieces. This is particularly awkward to light. I've been oxypropane. Once the flame stabilizes, once you've got it, it's pretty good. And now the, the jets are designed for propane. You can use oxycetylene jets, but they're even, they're even worse. The silver soil has already pre flux, but I don't like putting a little bit extra on. Knock the light off, and you may get a better. I'm going to do what I've rolled for. I've rolled for the, like a dull red to melt the silver shoulder. Look into it. I'm getting the temperature now. Very near. I'm starting to put the camper on. Yeah, I Pretty good, so that's all one piece again. Very, very slow with this stuff. You can fill the brass up in the front and fill this stuff up. Right, so that's the finished result. This is the new plasma setup. I bought a cheap tablet which is really good quality actually I can put all my consumer bits in there and in the bottom inside there that's the controllers and the PC out of the way of all the horrible dust there's a lot of dust off plasma and it also do all the grinding and welding in here but it's a much much neater tidy setup I've gained space somehow so I'm, I'm very happy about that I also painted the wall the wall was filthy yellow um, it should be better now because I've got my downdraft system on the table, which seems to work a lot better. I'm going to do a video of Surian on the plasma table, on the, the new software. It's so much easier to use. It wasn't difficult anyway, but now it's just, uh, it's just very, very easy and simple to use.